welcome. Today is going to be a quick introduction on nutrient timing. And nutrient timing is the application of knowing when to eat and what to eat before, after, and during exercise. And it is designed for athletes and anyone weight training to achieve the most benefit from their exercise performance as well as their recovery. So specifically, it is based around protein and carbs in specific amounts at specific times. So here are some benefits of nutrient timing before we kind of dive into it a little bit further. So you have nutrient portioning, which is where the nutrients go when you ingest them, improved health, improved body composition, fantastic, improved athletic performance, enhanced workout recovery, all great things to achieve when looking to reach your health and fitness goals, I'm sure we can all agree. So I want to dive in a little bit further into nutrient timing and how we can start implementing it in our daily routine. So let's start first with post-workout. So after our exercise, especially within the first 40 to 45 minutes, our body is greedy for nutrients. So before getting into the pre and post workout, I want to explain why carbohydrates are so important, especially when we are training. So carbohydrates are the fuel for your engine, meaning your muscles. And the, the harder you work your engine, the more carbs your body needs to keep the engine going. So to keep it super simple, glycogen is the energy storage in our muscles. So when we work out, we use up all the glycogen in our muscle and after our workout, they must be replenished for proper growth as well as proper recovery. So that's why having carbohydrates within the first 30 to 45 minute window, it's crucial, but it doesn't stop there. We want to pair our carbohydrates with protein because post-workout protein really cranks up protein synthesis. So again, when we're training, we want to make sure we're getting the best out of our workout. So there are actually studies that show waiting longer than 45 minutes after exercise for a meal would significantly diminish the benefits of your training by 75%. It's a high percentage. So now that we have post-workout covered, let's talk pre-workout. So pre-workout nutrition is not the high caffeine, sugary powder drinks that get you jittery and give you all the caffeine for your workout. Although it is a type of pre-workout, it's not nutrition. So pre-workout nutrition is actually the same thing as your post-workout nutrition. The only difference is that you're going to be pairing your protein and your carbohydrates before your workout, hence pre-workout. So you typically want to do 45 to 30 minutes or less in some cases prior to your workout getting in your nutrition. So when you add pre-workout nutrition along with post-workout nutrition, this actually allows you to maximize your performance and also minimizes muscle damage during your workout. So that's why it's important to also add in the pre-workout as well, not only the post-workout. So Here's the thing when it comes to pre-workout nutrition. You do not really want to eat a full meal prior your, to your workout because then it actually messes up your performance because your GI tract gets all messed up. You have to digest things. You're going to really want a fast digesting protein and carbohydrate to give you maximal results when it comes to pre-workout because you don't really want to eat a slow digesting meal food um, right before you go work out. It's going to be sitting in your stomach. So that's where Formula One and Ignition come into play. And if you're someone who doesn't have whey, then the Vegan Power Pro and Ignition. But we already learned about the difference between Formula One and Level One. Uh, but now would really be a great time to incorporate that protein because it's specifically designed for pre and post workout. So there is more to learn when it comes to nutrient timing, like what to take during exercise and what to do even after workout, but we will really save that for another day. For now, I just want to focus on getting in your pre-workout nutrition along with your post-workout nutrition 
on those days that you're weight training and resistance training.